Hi guys! Today we're going to read Barry the Fish with Fingers by Sue Hendra. Puffy, the puffer fish, could blow the best bubbles. Other fish would come from miles around to see his bubbles blowing show. Big bubbles, small bubbles, round bubbles, square bubbles. They had never seen anything quite so amazing until they caught sight of Barry. Barry was no ordinary fish. Barry was a fish with fingers. Suddenly, everyone wanted to find out more about the amazing fish with fingers. What can your fingers do, Barry? They asked. Tell us, tell us. Well, said Barry, fingers mean finger painting, knitting, cutting and finger puppets. But best of all, fingers mean tickling. Oh, the fish had never had so much fun. Come on, Puffy, join in, said Barry. But Puffy didn't want to join him. He was feeling sad. Now nobody wants to see my bubble blowing show, he sighed. I hate Barry's fingers. They're stupid. Oh, it's very nice, isn't it? So while Puffy sulked on his own, Barry and the other fish had a whale of a time chasing each other through the sea caves, in and out of seashells and through the seaweed. But all of a sudden, Barry stopped dead in his tracks. He heard a loud splash and a rumbling noise. Then the sea got darker and a big shadow covered the ocean. Oh no, cried Barry. Oh no, cried the fish. A huge crate had fallen into the water and it was going to squash Puffy. Oh, it says handle with care. And then it looks like there's an address on there. Quick, Barry, do something, cried the fish. No. And that was when Barry did something truly amazing. He pointed, look out, Puffy! <gasps> With a loud crash, the crate hit the seabed. Was it too late? Had poor Puffy been squashed? I don't know. Phew, he hadn't. Thank you, Barry, said Puffy. You saved my life. I'm sorry for being a grumpy spoil sport. Can we play tickle chase? But Barry had a better idea. Let's party. Take it away, Puffy, he cried. Barry played the piano, Puffy blew the trumpet and everyone had the best time ever. Oh, the end. What a lovely story. Bye.